Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the JavaScript coding questions. So because we have already discussed all the concepts of JavaScript programming, so let's make some uh, coding questions and then uh, we'll uh, directly start with the DOM manipulation. Okay, so let's start here. Uh, first of all, let me go to WebStorm. I will just copy the folder. First one, I'll just paste it. Um, so change this 13 underscore js underscore um, program or let's say coding examples and we don't need this and here uh, coding examples copy and paste it okay Fine. Uh, so let me load this uh, in, a web, in a browser. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So console ready. Uh, so the very first program, what we're gonna see is uh, we will give you a string. Okay. So string contains any a number of characters. Uh, in that, I just want to find out how many number of A's in a string or how many number of O's in a string okay so how to find out uh, the given characters the given number of characters in a uh, in a given string so let's see uh, that question now so the very first one is find the number of o's in the given string so start here First of all, I take a string. So let message is equal to something called uh, uh, good morning. And uh, here I write, um, I write a function to make the logic. So what I do is, so let's uh, find zero, find zeros is equal to one arrow function, this normal function. Uh, generally what is arrow function is you you generally write a function in this way right but there's a new concept from ES6 what is that is arrow functions it means you can remove the function keyword and you can just make an arrow so this will become again a function okay it's called arrow function and here uh, it takes the message and what are the string you have provided or you can take str and you write logic here and then uh, I'll just say console.log of Backtick the zeros in string is. I just wanna call the function so find uh, find zeros of msc. Okay, so we made a setup, but uh, you get the value as undefined because you are not made a logic. So let's make a logic. So first of all, uh, how to find a number of zeros in a given string? Generally, just think about the logic. Um, how, how we can find out generally how we will count the number of zeros is you start from the first character and uh, it's a G so it's not zero so leave it next uh, one uh, it's a zero you got O it means you just make a count of one and then one more so you make count of two so like that it continues it means you're starting from the first index to the last index you are just finding if, wherever the each character is zero you're incrementing the count same way you have to write a program so what i do is let count is zero and i write for let um i equal to zero and i less than or equal to str dot length um str dot length minus one okay so last index and then i plus plus so I'm just looping from the first index to the last index and each index position I want to get the character is equal to zero or not. So how to get the character is so let's uh, care is equal to um, str dot care at care at of i. So you get the each character. So we have to check is that character is equal to o or not. So how to write if the character is is equal to either o or uh, you can write or symbol the character is is equal to uh, capital O so either lowercase or uppercase 
I just want to if the count if the condition match, I want to increment the count and finally I will return the count like this. Now check count is three because we have a three O's. Let me delete one so you get two. If I make capital O, still you get the answer as three. Okay. So so this is how you will find out the number of O's in a given string. So let's make another example. Uh, what is that is I want to find the reverse string logic so how to make a string as a reverse so reverse so reverse string so find the reverse string of the given string so how to get a reverse string is so let's make uh, a setup I'll just say message is going to be uh, good morning I want to get the reverse of good morning using a JavaScript uh, uh, concepts um, I just make a function first let uh, reverse string is equal to one arrow function and uh, it just takes the string and uh, console dot log of the message and its reverse string is going to be the reverse string of message okay so we made a setup and uh, we got good morning values undefined we need to make the reverse of the good morning see here uh, first of all yeah setup ready so how to make a string reverse generally uh, without programming how you can make a string reverse is you will start from the last character right so can you tell me the reverse string of it you can say g n i n r o m and space d o o g correct so what you have done is uh, you start from the last character and each and every character uh, you're going forward to the I mean you you're going backward to the uh, index 0 and you're getting the each and every character and you're printing it so what I do is I just take a temporary string empty string I just get the each and every character from the last string last index and then uh, I'll add up to the each and every character and returns so let's see how uh, to write a code is let's take a temporary string okay so we just take a temporary string as empty string and here uh, what I do is I just have to start from last to first so let's uh, the i value is equal to str dot length minus one because last but one is the index right and then um, up to zero so i greater than or equal to zero and then uh, i minus minus you have to reduce next to last index character how to get the character let's char is equal to str dot char h of i so you get the each character so this each character i need to append to the temporary string so what i do is temporary string plus is equal to uh, the character okay so it's keep on uh, looping it and keep on getting the each character and appending to the uh, temporary string and finally after for loop you can just say return a temporary string so now we get the answer as reverse string okay so it's quite simple so actually uh, when you write a program just think how you can do without uh, programming just just think about the logic and then convert to the programming concepts okay uh, one more example we're gonna see here what is that is um, I want to check the I want to print the palindrome string uh, or else I'll check the given string is palindrome or not so I just have to check the given string is palindrome or not uh, first of all what is palindrome is the given string and its reverse string is also same then it's called as a palindrome so its reverse string also should match with the given string even if you reverse it should be same uh, so how to find out uh, let's make a uh, let's uh, message I already declared a message so message is equal to I just say a b c I'll take in okay so it's not a palindrome if I say a b a it's a palindrome right uh, so let's make a function first let uh, is palindrome is equal to one function I just take an arrow function uh, here the string you have to take 
and uh, let's write a console dot log of let's make a string the given string okay? message is palindrome or not how to check you just call the function is palindrome of message okay so this will give you true or false okay fine uh, so we made a setup and you get undefined because it's not written anything fine so how to check palindrome is the given string is equal to reverse string uh, now how to do that logic is if str is is equal to but have to get the reverse string uh, shall i write again reverse string logic here actually not required because what's the concept of functions is uh, if you write one function and you can reuse that uh, if, if you require okay so we have already written a reverse string function that is this one okay so what this function does is it takes a normal string it does some process and returns you the reverse string so i need to use this uh, logic in my this function so what i do is i need to get the reverse string i can simply say reverse string of str so this will give you a reverse string so string is equal to reverse string if this is the case then written true so else written false that's it okay let's check a b a is true i'll make uh, a b c a b c is gonna be the false because it's not a palindrome okay so let's say a b b a let's take true okay a b b c so it's not palindrome okay so like that and one more thing here is we can even still reduce the number of lines uh, how we reduce is c if the string is equal to reverse string if the condition is true returns true otherwise returns false so ultimately we are returning the condition itself so what you can do is instead of writing this much we can make a single statement you can simply say written so written this one so what it does is written string is equal to reverse string so if it is equal returns uh, its value is true written true if the value is false if the condition false written false automatically so you don't need to check even the if else condition also so you get again it's true if i say uh, c you get false yes so first of all just think about the logic and then uh, uh, finally you have to optimize the logic so try to optimize the logic because uh, you must have to write uh, the optimized code okay uh, fine uh, enough with these questions and uh, we'll see some of the questions in the next video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video thank you